Today on an all-new Dr. Phil. Pauline Potter weighs almost 700 pounds. She's the heaviest woman on record. My hope is that Dr. Phil will not think that I'm too far gone. Getting out of a chair is an ordeal. Going to the bathroom, taking a shower. She's ready to make a change. My son does everything for me. For her family. I can't live unless he helps me. You're kind of a prisoner, aren't you? For her ex. I always promised I would be there by her side. I don't know if there's hope of her coming back. At the risk of being indelicate, were you able to be intimate when you were together? And for her family. Future. I don't want to spend my last 20 years in this bed watching people live, and I'm not. Is she too far gone, or can she come back from this? Let's do it. If we're going to do something here that matters, then we got to deal with the truth. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. If I can help get this family back on track, are you willing to do that? Ready, three, take it. This is going to be a changing day in your life. Go, Dr. Uh, today, we are talking to a woman who says she gets noticed anywhere she goes. Pauline Potter weighs almost 700 pounds and holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest living woman. I know some of you out there, to you, Pauline is just a woman who can't stop eating. Someone with no willpower. Someone who you may say, just look, she brought this on herself, Dr. Phil. Well... I tell you what, she's actually a mother, she's a daughter, she's a friend, and like anyone else in this life, she has hopes and dreams. She wants to be free of the enormous shell that she's been living in. If you're going to truly conquer this, if you're gonna get this under control, it's gonna be a lifestyle change. It's gonna be a complete lifestyle realignment. And you're gonna to have to change your thinking, what you say to yourself about food. You're gonna to have to change your feelings. You're going to have to heal the emotions that you've been medicating yourself for food with. You're going to have to clean up your environment. You can't eat it if it's not there. But you've also got to then introduce the right kinds of foods because you should never be hungry. I don't want you to be depressed because you're deprived. You shouldn't, you're not going to be punished here. This is not something we want to do to you. It's something we want to do with you. This is just the beginning. This isn't the end here. This is just the beginning. Let me tell you one of the things that I want to do for you and for Dylan is we, we have an organization that we work with called Bistro MD. Bistro MD is a food delivery service that is medically set and calibrated. And I'm gonna ask Misty and Dr. Kalili to work with them and they, can, they will design not only your caloric intake, but the composition of the caloric intake. How much carbohydrate, how much fat, how much protein, everything that your medicals tell us that you need. And we are going to provide that to you. We're gonna have it delivered to your home every single day for you and for Dylan. Okay, so if you wanna go out, go somewhere besides the store because that's contraband. We're gonna bring you what you need to eat and what will help you get where you're gonna go.